A while back, we brought you a special feature on the new film, The Arbitration. This is way before it was picked to screen in the city-to-city -city focus on Lagos at the 2016 Toronto Film Festival. The movie also marks the return of veteran actor Shola Fosudo to acting after many years of break to go into academics. Our first story today shines the spotlight on the director of the film, Niyi Akimolayo, who shares some filming experience with us. Watch this. Niyi Akimolayo announced his entrance into the Nigerian movie industry by daring to flip the script. He touched the heavily dreaded action and sci-fi genre of movie making with a heavy chroma key superimposition on the movie Kajola. A couple of movies along the years later, he scored his first major big hit on the movie Out of Luck in 2015, produced by Chinasa Onuzo. How much I suppose win on top of the 5k we are draw for that permutation 5? Then and, and a 5 million suppose win. Tonight. You can use your brain. What did I do? Okay, no, well, this is what I would say. Um, Out of Luck was a very interesting experience. It was one of the top earning films last year. Um, one of the things I learned from it is I learned to understand exactly what the audience, you know, love and respond to. I mean, for you to like a film, to make it one of the top grossing 10, you know, you must have done something right. So some of the things we took out of Out of Luck were some of the subtle things that we know that if we inject it in any of our films, the audience will love it. We also realized that um, there was something very original and down to earth, you know, about Out of Luck that we were very careful to infuse in this one. So it's that process that you go through being a filmmaker where you evolve gradually and your audience, expect your audience to evolve with you. Before the euphoria of the movie Out of Luck wanes off, the duo reunited for a new movie titled The Arbitration. The writer and producer, Chinaza Onuzo, we worked together on Out of Luck, you know, which was released last year. And um, right about the time we were premiering Out of Luck, you know, he called me and said, Hey, Nick, I have an idea about this um, crazy workplace romance story that becomes a legal drama. You know, and what do you think about it? I wasn't exactly sure, you know, if I wanted to get on a legal drama, you know, in this age where there's so much comedy and drama um, mixed together everywhere. But I, I, I felt I could give it a shot. So in January, he sent me the script and I read it. You know, when I read the script, I knew that not just because it was a beautiful story or it was um, well written, but because it's the kind of story we need to tell. You know, so when I read all the details that, you know, came with the story ideas and everything, I just felt that, hey, maybe this is an opportunity to do something you've always wanted to do, you know, tell a story that draws in the audience, makes them ask critical questions, makes them question what they believe about certain realities um, in the film. So yes, it was a lure and I fell for it. My name is Olubwenga Sonny and I'm the CEO of Imagine Limited. Who exactly is Miss Dara Ubijobi and what is your relationship with her? Arbitration as a movie focuses extensively on two professions, law and information technology. This caused an initial concern for him because he knew if he must make the movie, he must be as factual as he could. The audience to presume what the actor is thinking or what the character is thinking, okay, only to either be surprised or be rewarded eventually when the character opens their mouth to talk. The other one is nuance. So I am looking for subtle change in facial gestures based on what one person is saying. 
And like uh, we said when we were having that meeting, we're going to see more reactions than action. So there's a lot of talk, 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 talk. How you respond to the talk is more important than who is talking the talk. The first thing I asked the writer is, are you sure about all these details? You know, so there is, um, there's a lot. It's even way more than all the legal stuff um, involved. There is the detail of the work, you know, the lead character does and all that. And we needed to get everything down to the books. For the arbitration itself, I had a friend who is a chartered arbitrator. And um, I think the best thing he added to the film, because I, I already knew what an arbitration was, but I'd never witnessed one. I thought I'd be able to witness one, but I didn't. And so I had a meeting with him, and the first thing he said is that because the nature of an arbitration is not like a courtroom where you have a judge, it's basically people who want to settle disputes and trust one person to do it. And one of the things that come out of that is people fight with themselves emotionally. So they bring out emotional reasons, you know, to destroy the opponent or to gain an upper hand. And then he shared a couple of experiences with me. Some were really, really, really dramatic. So we took some bit of that experience and we added it into the film. Go away, I have work to do. He had sex with me against my mom. You did not rape her? No. You did not coerce her? No. Why did you sleep with her? I love her. The plot of the arbitration subtly highlighted sexual crime. Akimalaya said it was a deliberate move. So you could have had sex with him a million times before, but all that matters is that the last time was coerced. He's going to lie. Of course he's going to lie. This is this shit. We were in love. But you betrayed her. I did my best for her. Easy for you to say you owned your shares. She had to wait for her. It is my company. There is also the question about rape itself being a criminal offense and what is happening in the film, you know, the, the arbitration panel itself wasn't set out to judge a rape case, okay, but rape was one of the emotional instruments used, okay, by the, the, the warring parties, so to speak. So it was a lot of work. We needed to be sure and correct. I think I had a lawyer on two, um, two of the days while we were shooting on set, just to be sure that we weren't saying um, rubbish. And I must say that the writer is a very well-researched, person, very intelligent, very brilliant uh, young man, and you know, he put a lot to work. The movie creates a blend of young dynamic casts, including Adiswa Etomi and O.C. Ukeje, with veterans of the industry like Ireti Doyle and Shola Fushido, who is only returning to the big screen after a self-imposed hiatus. Honestly, do you think it's actually possible for someone to rape someone without force, the way they are describing? Talk to your client. Convince her. As a matter of principle, I always ensure that in any of my films, okay, we have, um, apart from, you know, the regular stars that you would want to put in a film, I would have at least one or two, um, not too known faces, and I would have people, you know, that we've known and we've loved for a very long time. So it was, it was, it was really great having someone like um, Shola Fosudo. I mean, he's, he's, I don't think he's been on the big screen, you know, and a lot of people haven't even seen him in a while. So there is that extra nostalgia that comes, oh my God, Shola Fosudo is going to be in a big movie. And um, it's important. Also, they bring something really unique, you know. So when I did Out of Luck, I had um, 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 Jide Kosoko, I had Femi Branch. They bring a wealth of experience that you can't get anywhere else. I mean, you'll be doing some scenes and as a director, you're not exactly sure if it's working. And they'll tell you straight there that it's going to work. And they're saying it because they know, you know, it's worked before and it's going to work again. So you need that and also, you need all the young people to also learn and see how it's done. So we always need, it's my principle that if I'm ever going to make a film, there always has to be a mix of both. I think that it, it brings everything together nice. Miss, Miss Dara Ubichobiam, what is your relationship with her? The arbitration will screen at the 2016 edition of the Toronto International Film Festival in the City to City supplement of the event. He's a married man, Miss Ubichobiam, he doesn't get to keep...